OMG, breaking news on Twitter. Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, is coming to South by Southwest. Why? <laughs> Why are they bringing her to South by Southwest? I don't get it. South by Southwest is one of like the cooler film festivals and music festivals. And it's about technology and usually connects like the cooler indie movies and midnight screenings and concerts. Why on earth would they want to bring someone as uncool and irrelevant as Meghan Markle. Sorry, now it's just Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. Notice the rebrand is fully on now. There is no more Markle. She is a one word princess, sorry, Duchess. Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex is now how she will forever be known. Imagine marrying a prince and then having the audacity and entitlement to then lose your own last name to announce yourself as Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. When you're not even a royal anymore, you've left and you agree and you're trying to be your own thing. But no, I'm going to keep that <laughs> because that's the kind of person Meghan Markle is. But when I saw this article, guys, I just I, I, I had to react with you because I am so sick of this couple. I'm so sick of this couple. And when I read this, this was such blatant PR trying to spin it as this favorable thing for Megan. And it's like, who else would write this but Team Megan, right? And when I see that she's joining two legends, acting legend Brooke Shields, who's done so much work in the past, actually earned her own celebrity through her own talent. I wrote a book, best-selling book, et cetera. Katie Couric, a legendary broadcaster, journalist. Say what you want, but these two ladies have earned their status. But Meghan Markle will be joining them for a keynote. Oh, let's learn more. Ready? Notice she gets top billing, too. It's not Katie Couric and Brooke Shields and Meghan Markle are joining. No, it's Meghan the Duchess. Meghan the Duchess of Sussex is coming to South by Southwest. The author and co-founder of the Archwell Foundation, Arthwell Productions. I got to pause right there. The author. The author. Bitch, you wrote a kid's book. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not make you an author. I mean, technically, I guess it kind of does. But why don't you go write something real before you start calling yourself an author? You're a children's book author. You wrote one book. Uh, not Come on. Am I, guys, come on. You don't get to self-proclaim, oh, I'm an author. Oh, from my kid's book. What was it? The Bench or some nonsense? You wrote it at the height of your royal fame. And yeah, of course it sold. You were now Prince Harry's lady and you wrote this dumb book. That does not make you an author. Write a real book and I will call you an author. And look, there's plenty of kids authors who have written many books and proved themselves to be authors. Meghan Markle, you are not an author yet. Uh, Co-founder of the Archwell Foundation and Archwell Productions. Like anybody knows what those things are. Uh, I'm an author and founder, co-founder with Harry of Archwell. Like, like that's a thing. It's not a thing. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Already one word in, sentence in, I'm losing it. She will participate in the opening day keynote, Breaking Barriers, Shaping Narratives, How Women Lead On and Off the Screen, out, along with journalist Katie Couric, actor Brooke Shields, and diversity, equity, and inclusion consultant of peopleism, Nancy Wang Yoon, Aaron Haynes, host of the Amendment Podcast, and editor at large for the 19th News, will moderate the fe at the festival, which runs March 8th through 16 in Austin. The discussion, which will also takes place on International Women's Day, will focus on how the ubiquitous nature of social media is creating an often dangerous environment, which has led to serious mental health issue for teenage girls in particular, according to the festival description. I mean, let's be clear. Social media is rotting all of us. Absolutely all of us. And look, I'm not against this. Great. Sounds like a bunch of smart women coming together to speak. Great. I, I would do it. But why on earth is Megan there? That's my problem. This woman is so entitled and fake and positions herself into the state places of authority as if she's done something to earn it. 
when the people she's surrounding herself with have actually done it. And then she has the audacity to embrace her. Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. It is just so phony, disingenuous. We've reported on her in, in great detail. I'm not buying it. And I'm shame on you, South by Southwest, for including her in this important talk of trying to help social media because they're the biggest bullies that they are. there are. Meghan Markle is one of the biggest bullies ever. She eats and spits through her friends like their leftover food. She is out there secretly behind the scenes working with her mouthpieces to attack everybody else while playing victim. Oh, don't attack me. She is a complete hypocrite. And I'm over it. I'm not going to just let her come out here and be like, oh, yes, I'm the expert for all mental health online. <laughs> nice try. Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, Katie, Brooke, Nancy, are perfect finishing touch to eight days of remarkable keynote speakers. Co-president, chief uh, programming officer said in a statement, we are so honored to host this distinguished group on International Women's Day for a significant discussion on the importance of representation in media entertainment. It's funny that you brought Meghan Markle in at, on Women's Day. Her, her company that she's so high on, Archwell, pays her female executives less than her male executives. <laughs> like, can you make that make sense? Can you make that make sense? I mean, how do you not pay your your workers the same? I mean, <laughs> it's like Megan Sparks. Con Sorry, try wait. I got it. Pay discrepancy for her Archwell employees. Megan under fire for appearing to contradict her staunch feminism with staggering gender pay gap in her own company. Now, granted, a lot of her People and her employees are quitting left and right. Uh, but she's Miss Feminist, right? Yeah, right. Fake feminist. But the committee, Megan's commitment to feminism may be granted more in style than in substance, despite the polished delivery of slogans such as feminism is about fairness. Duchess of Sussex hyper progressive organization in Archwell doesn't appear to have adopted that message following astonishing revelations. The company lost 11 million pounds in donations recently published tax return reveals that despite Megan's long history of feminist grandstanding, her company's got a significant gender pay gap among its highest paid employees. Chasm between Megan's worthy words and her company took not so worthy wage structure has not gone unnoticed. Uh, newly released shows that James Holt, President, director, executive director has a salary of 181,000 pounds, while senior strategic advisor Michael Stein earns a cool 111 million pounds. Co executive uh, director Shauna Nepp only takes 74,000 pounds. Look at that. Executive director James Holt almost du doubled. Uh, it's this is insanity. More than doubled. And then the one below him, the senior strategic advisor, also making more than Shauna. So her lead co-executive director female isn't getting the same amount of money as her male counterparts. But yeah, South by Southwest, you put her there with all those female legends and you let her keep doing this. Yeah, go for it. That's not going to bite you in the butt. Listen, that's why I'm mad. Okay, that's why I'm mad, because I'm so sick of this fake feminist this this bully trying to stop other bullies, this narcissistic, phony, disingenuous liar uh, has, should have nothing to do with these, these important causes. That's the problem. Like, you are not an author. This is ridiculous. <laughs> no, enough already. And it's offensive to all these other strong women who are on this panel. My goodness. Anybody else annoyed as I am? What do you think of this? And why would South by Southwest do this? They're the cool ones. This isn't cool. This is desperate and pathetic and stupid. Oh, so annoyed. But if you like being annoyed with me, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for all alerts so you get notified. Smash that thumbs up and let me know what you think. Uh, do you want more videos here? Should we do two a day? This is the second today. What do you think? You didn't click on those mornings. Do you like them earlier, later? What do you think? Make sure you check out this morning's video as well. Let's get this channel pumping. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more. And damn you, South by Southwest!